people who live in Washington State are among the most privileged in the country. The diversity of topography, weather, population, recreation, and industry make this a magnificent place to live. To experience this great variety of life, many Washington residents rely on Interstate 90, our most important east-west corridor. The development of the car quickly changed the way we lived in America. Cars gave us the mobility and the freedom to go wherever the roads would take us. One such road, I-90, became our nation's longest interstate freeway. Today it serves as a critical link, connecting Western Washington's large population and business centers with the farmlands, industries, and recreational areas of central and eastern Washington. Each day, an average of 27,000 vehicles cross Snoqualmie Pass. On summer or holiday weekends, that count can reach 58,000. 35 million tons of freight cargo, which equates to $500 billion, crosses I-90 each year. By 2028, over 10,000 trucks will make the journey every day. And like any other well-used road, Parts of I-90 are in desperate need of improvements. Got to turn back around, head back down to exit 34, get some coffee and some food. How long is it going to be closed, you know? No idea right now. The Snoqualmie Pass section of I-90 is particularly crucial and has been the site of frequent delays, accidents, and weather-related closures. These delays cause frustration for everyone, from skiers, tourists, and commuters, to growers and truckers. I-90 is huge, it's, you know, it's pretty much the only way to get to the summit and it's a huge interstate so we have that luxury of being um, convenient to a lot of people so it's definitely our lifeline to uh, earning our keep and getting people up here. Most people don't understand that two-thirds of all the apples in the United States come from here and pears and cherries so when that pass is not open for us to access that's very serious for the growers of Central Washington. When we can't get to port, uh, that represents an economic potential loss of about $6 million a week. The wine is produced here, it's, it's bottled here, and it needs to get to market. So it's extremely important that the interstate is accessible and clear for those wineries to ship their wine to market. What happens is the freight comes to a dead stop unless we find an alternative route. Um, especially when an avalanche happens and we don't have time to react. Um, our drivers sit and wait. That means freight sits and waits. That means customers wait for their freight. So it's a, it's a huge impact. And that's right out of the carrier's pocket. Um, uh, it's, we can't go back to the customers and, and ask them for more money. Uh, we have to suck it up. So uh, it's pretty costly. To address these concerns, the Washington State Department of Transportation is planning to improve a vital 15-mile corridor from Hayek to Easton. Known as the I-90 Snoqualmie Pass East Project, these improvements will help alleviate congestion and make I-90 safer and more efficient. The first five miles of the project, from Hayek to Ketchless Dam, has been funded. Improvements include addressing road closures due to avalanches. So as part of our project, we're looking to address the avalanche closures up on the pass. We see about 65 hours a year on average that the pass is closed due to control work um, or avalanche that comes down. One of the things we're looking at doing is replacing the existing snow shed with a new snow shed that will cover all the lanes, not just the westbound lanes. Other improvements include expanding from four to six lanes to reduce congestion in both directions, constructing a new roadway surface to replace deteriorated concrete pavement, stabilizing rock slopes along the length of the project corridor, improving safety for travelers, extending chain up and off areas, straightening sharp curves, improving sight distance and safety, and reconnecting wildlife habitat over and under the roadway by adding culverts, lengthening bridges at streams, or adding wildlife overcrossings. I-90 has long made life easier for people, but at a cost to animals. 
The road bisects a critical wildlife corridor. Many species from the north are prevented from moving south. Animal populations from the south are isolated between the Columbia River and I-90, unable to move north. The I-90 Snoqualmie Pass East project will improve habitat connectivity by adding culverts, lengthening bridges at streams, or adding wildlife overcrossings. This will allow streams, fish, and wildlife to safely cross I-90 while reducing wildlife vehicle collisions. It goes from the high mobility species like, you know, grizzly bear, wolves, wolverine, fisher, um, and lynx, down to smaller species like um, the terrestrial salamanders and um, small mammals and snakes and lizards and frogs and basically everything. So this is, a, um, it's just pretty amazing. I mean, it's an incredible project. I think at this time, it's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest highway crossing structures, wildlife mitigation projects um, in the country, if not uh, in uh, the world. It's huge. By having biologists from the state agencies, from the uh, environmental community, working with uh, the Department of Transportation engineers, we were able to find the best locations for the crossing structures, the right height, the types of, of design that are going to work best for almost 200 species of, of wildlife. So when this is done, this will be um, the best design in the country. The cooperation among government, environmental and business interests on the I-90 Snoqualmie Pass East project is unprecedented and is receiving international attention. One of the things that has impressed people is how the environmental community, the wildlife agencies and the Department of Transportation have been able to work together to come up with a solution and, critically, find the funding to do it. From the very beginning, the Department of Transportation has also involved the citizens of Washington State through open houses, community meetings, public events, and school projects. The department has incorporated the public's comments and will continue communication throughout construction. We, we're making a commitment to make sure we get the public through by keeping two lanes open in each direction during peak travel times. We want to make sure that people can get through to their destinations. We need I-90 to keep Washington moving forward. To make that happen, We've made a commitment to the citizens of Washington and to the legislature to deliver this project on time and on budget. The need for improvement stretches from Hayek to Easton, as covered in the Environmental Impact Statement. Although the section from Ketchless Dam to Easton is not yet funded, improvements planned for this 10 miles include stabilizing rock slopes, replacing deteriorating concrete pavement, and low clearance overpasses. Adding a lane in each direction. Lengthening truck climbing lanes. And incorporating fish and wildlife connectivity into culverts, bridges, and overcrossings. We love the proposed improvements. It's going to be more convenient for everyone, for both our guests and our employees, to get here in a safer way, in a quicker manner. And it's going to be, you know, beneficial for the environment and wildlife too. So all around, it's a win-win for us. It'll be a major help to our company and the industry and, uh, and uh, the Puget Sound area and, and uh, obviously Eastern Washington as well. I think all of the improvements that are going to keep that interstate moving open and traffic flowing is going to be good for all of the industries in the valley. This is something that is going to be pretty amazing as far as protecting wildlife 200 years from now. Washington State is a magnificent place to live work and play. Together, the Department of Transportation, the business and environmental communities, and the citizens of our state will keep Washington moving, continuing to improve the vital link that connects us all. Whether you live west of the mountains or east of the mountains, uh, I-90s are our lifeline. It's our lifeline. It's our lifeline. It's our lifeline.